Top 10 Batting Averages for India in Test Cricket With scores of 30, 10 not out, 42, 64, 52, 64, 9, 0, 163 not out, 30, 30, 15 and 33. Late Madhav Apte is at number 10 on our list with a super strong batting average of 49.27 in Test Cricket. Virendir Sehwag has constructed an extraordinary career with a relentless quest and a genius for boundary hitting. With minimal footwork but maximum intent, he has piled test runs at a faster pace than anyone in the history of cricket. Bowlers must always fancy their chances against a batsman who plays so many strokes. It's just that Sehwag fancies his chances against them much more. And on his test debut, on a fiery pitch in Bloemfontein, he matched the master stroke for stroke as they both blazed away to hundreds. But soon he emerged his own man, and not long after Tendulkar was playing a supporting, and somewhat calming, Hannah Sehwag romped away to a triple hundred, the first by an Indian, in Multan, bringing it up with a six. Two tests ago, he had been dismissed trying the same stroke five shot of what would have been his first test double hundred. He is at number nine on our list with a rock-solid 49.43 batting average in test cricket. Arguably one of the greatest opening batsmen of all time, Sunil Gavaskar was statistically most successful. An immaculate technique, unerring concentration, and most importantly, Daring nerve defined his batting. In an age of the fearsome and bloodthirsty West Indian pacers, it took enormous courage to bat without a helmet something Gavaskar did for 16 years and through the 10,000 runs that he scored. With the latent fear of a cracked skull, Gavaskar maintained incredible composure at the crease with his astute judgment of line and length and his complete game of both the front foot and the back foot. He is number 8 on our list with a glorious batting average of 51.12. Rahul Dravid was perhaps the best in the world at handling the first part of the number 3 batsman's job, shielding the stroke makers and the stars from the new ball. Several celebrated batsmen owe him their hundreds and double hundreds to Rahul Dravid, who has pulled off countless blockathons and Leviathans to see off vicious spells on treacherous seeming wickets. He is number 7 on our list with a brilliant batting average of 52.63. Ironically, in the midst of the over-the-top veneration and in spite of the pedestal he has been placed on, it is his humility and the ability to cast it all out that has allowed him to put forth his best performances on the international stage for over two decades. Having played across generations, Sachin Tendulkar started playing test cricket in a white shirt that could just as easily have been used as a school uniform and scored his last test hundred in a niche Nike jersey that was impossible to buy over the counter and would later be auctioned for millions. The number six spot goes to him with a terrific batting average of 53.78. Vinod Kambali, best friend of Sachin Tendulkar, made his test debut in 1993 against England, against whom he hit his maiden double hundred, in just his second test match. He followed it up with another double hundred against Zimbabwe in the next match, before scoring a hundred against Sri Lanka to make history by becoming the only cricket to score 100 plus in three innings against three different opponents. Although he had a bright start to his test career, Kamli didn't consider for tests after 1995, meaning he had only 17 tests against his name. But, still, he enters the top 5 of our list with a formidable batting average of 54.20. Late quarter Ramaswamy made his debut in the second test at Old Trafford and at the age of 40 years, 37 days, the second oldest Indian to make a debut. He scored 40 and 60 to help India draw the game and then in the final test at the Oval he made two more valuable contributions of 29 and 41 not out to finish with 170 runs at 56.66 batting average. He is at number 4.
Late Deepak Shodhan was the second Indian batsman, after Lala Amarnath, to score a hundred on test debut. Named as the twelfth man for the 1952 Calcutta Test, he took the field after Vijay Hazare was unable to play. At Calcutta in a curious Indian innings where every batsman reached double figures, Shodhan scored 110 batting at number 8. He scored 45 and 11 in the first test at Port of Spain against West Indies that followed. He missed the next three tests and when picked for the last match of the series he fell ill. He scored an important 15 not out in the second innings batting at number 10. That turned out to be his last test as he was never again selected to play for India. His career batting average of 60.33 remained the third best for India in Test cricket. On 26 November 2016, Karun Nair made his Test debut against England at Mohali. He scored his maiden Test century in the final match of the series at the M.A. Chidambaram Stadium, going on to finish 303 not out. He was only three innings old in international cricket then thus becoming the quickest batsman to hit a maiden triple hundred in test cricket history in terms of the number of matches played. He was also India's second ever triple centurion after Virendir Sehwag, and only the third man in the game's history to convert a maiden test tone into a triple. India won the match by an innings and 75 runs, and Nair was named the player of the match. But shockingly he was dropped and never picked for Indian test team after four back-to-back -back low scores. Despite this fact, he stands at the number two spot in the list with a splendid batting average of 62.33. He was initially only picked for India's 2020-2021 Australia tour as a net bowler. However, numerous injuries to fellow bowlers, and the inability of India to fly in replacements at short notice due to quarantine restrictions in effect during the COVID-19 pandemic saw him win an unexpected first test cap on 15th January in the final test match of the series at the Gabba. His first test wicket was Steve Smith, while he scored 62 in his first test innings in a crucial seventh wicket partnership of 123 with Shardul Thakur which kept India from facing a huge first innings deficit and contributed greatly to India's eventual victory in the test. With his maiden test 50, he became only the third Indian to score a half-century on test debut in Australia. Meet Washington Sundar who holds the record of highest batting average of 66.25 for India in Test cricket.